Hi there, this is Sean Broderick for Uncommon Wisdom Daily. According to reports from the Chinese press, China's $200 billion sovereign wealth fund is stepping up its rate of investments in overseas companies. We know what the Chinese like to buy, hard assets. And the action we're seeing in one metal tells me that the Chinese are buying it, even though they already say they have enough of it. Let's take a look at a chart of the IPATH Dow Jones UBS Copper Sub-Index ETN. It's a mouthful of a name for a fund that does a very simple thing. It tracks the price of copper. You can see that the JJC, as the fund is known, is breaking out to the upside. Copper just hit a 13-month high. This is being helped by a minor strike in South America, but also by the fact that inventories of the metal in Shanghai warehouses are shrinking. Copper is an industrial metal. China says its economy grew by 8.9% in the third quarter, and industrial production in China rose by 13.9%. 13.9% in September from a year earlier. China's copper demand is increasing. The funny thing about copper is that it's a manipulated market, even more than oil. The Chinese always plant stories and otherwise talk down their real need for copper. But the truth is in the price, which keeps going up. So what is China buying? I think they're buying copper now, and I think that soon they'll be buying copper miners. There are a number of ways to play this. The easiest one is to buy the JJC the next time that it pulls back to its 10-day moving average. We already own this fund in Red Hot Commodity ETFs, so do your own due diligence and make sure this fund is right for you. This is Sean Broderick for UncommonWisdomDaily.com. Thanks for watching.